At Food Agility, we saw an opportunity in digital agriculture and we see ourselves as helping that adoption, helping companies get over that first hurdle of validating early stage technology driven by science and research where we can actually supercharge R&D in this area. And this is what every CRC is trying to do is improve that translation between research and impact in industry. In the CRC, we've tried to capture partners from all parts of the food system. We have projects in meat and livestock, we have horticulture, we have wine, and of course, our celebrated successful project in the oyster industry. The Food Safety in the Oyster Industry project, it's a wonderful collaboration between New South Wales Food Authority, the Yield, the technology partner, and we have the research team here at UTS. So it's an industry-led combination of partners that bring the technology smarts, the research smarts, all those elements together beautifully. The New South Wales oyster industry and oyster industries generally have issues with water quality because oysters are filter feeders. Anything in the estuary water ends up in the oyster. The regulator needs to shut down the oyster harvesting industry when the water quality is bad. And this can be for longer periods than is actually required. So what the Oyster Project is seeking to achieve is to reduce unnecessary closures. In peak season, and for some oyster growers, a loss of one day in harvesting could cost them up to $100,000. We've got 13 estuaries across the state that have been collecting samples on a weekly basis for the last two years. So our role as biological scientists is to pick up the microbiological contaminants and then couple that to real-time temperature and salinity sensing and to look at the link between those things. Having the Food Agility project working in the estuary, particularly with the salinity monitoring, means that we're checking when the rainfall is actually impacting on the harvest area and it's meant that we've been able to stay open for longer, harvest more oysters, protect our business and supply more regularly for our customers. We're trying to farm in a really dynamic system, so being able to partner with government agencies and research centres allows us to put a bit of science behind what we're actually doing. It's one of the exciting things about working in the CRC movement. You get to see almost every day researchers that have that aha moment and say, okay, this is how I'm going to have an impact. Working with the industry so closely keeps us aware of exactly what their concerns are and also it makes us think a bit more creatively. For Pambula Lake to be a part of the CRC Food Agility Project has been a fantastic advantage for the local oyster farmers. There's 28 farmers in Pambula Lake, but we're all family businesses, so it would be difficult for us to fund this kind of research. And I think that the benefits of the project are more broader reaching than just the oyster industry. There's um, benefits for the community and for other people that use the estuary as well. The impact that we're trying to have, it is about efficiency, it is about profitability, but it also is about the environment. Whether it's about looking after your soil or reducing your water use, it's actually doing more with less. The aquaculture industry's got the same issues all over the world, that their major problems are water quality issues. So a lot of what we're learning here will be directly applicable to other countries and we really hope that they will take this on and follow our example. We think this is a world first. We're starting to see leading edge research and technology coming to bear to have a real impact. So these types of technologies and digital being showcased in this Oyster project have much broader scope and opportunity. And we're starting to see that in some of the other projects that we're working on. For industry partners, because the projects tend to be of a high risk nature, the co-investment from the Commonwealth through the CRC program is critical to get them over the line and get them to that next level. It accelerates how we can actually have that impact, taking those ideas into industry.